Good afternoon and welcome to Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm Brian Tuttle with Carolina Aircraft, here today to show you one of our latest listings, this beautiful 1996 A36 that has the Whirlwind 3 Rammer 2 Tornado Alley conversion. Let's take a closer look. November 174 Delta Mike currently has 3,050 hours total time since new. The engine is the IO 550 300 horsepower engine. Now this was installed as a factory reman back in 2004. The whirlwind conversion was done in 2012 and this gives you sea level power all the way up to 20,000 feet. The rammer 2 conversion of this uh, also gives you a stainless steel exhaust, a newly overhauled Garrett turbocharger, you can see we have turbo gammy injectors. We have high temperature silicone hose package and the new Rammer 2 uh, scoop ducting, which is a larger inducting air tubing for cooler temperatures. Now this allows you to fly higher with cooler temperatures on less fuel. And this airplane will do roughly 190 knots around 15,000 feet. Looking at the front of the airplane, you can see this beautiful three-blade Hartzell scimitar prop. Just under that, you can see the new Rammer 2 induction air scoop that I was mentioning. And we'll step around to the left side here and, and zoom in on the stainless steel exhaust. All of that is part of the whirlwind conversion. The paint on November 174 Delta Mite is in beautiful condition. Uh, you wouldn't believe it, but this is original paint from 1996. This airplane has always been hangered. It's been washed and waxed on a regular basis, and I would call this paint at least a seven and a half to an eight. Uh, this is shell white overall with feldspar and red striping. Again, in beautiful condition. The tail section on November 174 Delta Mike is in beautiful condition as well. Again, this airplane has always been hangered. Uh, no corrosion back here at all, no helpings, anything like that. Uh, you can see the static wicks uh, for the avionics on this airplane. And again, overall in, in very, very nice condition. The interior on 174 Delta Mike is in beautiful condition. This was redone in 2012, and it's the new style interior that is started putting in uh, 2007 on the G36 models. We have the adjustable headrest, uh, shoulder harnesses. As we pan around, you can see we have the recessed uh, armrest on the side panels. Uh, again, all these windows have been replaced. We have the G&D tinted window inserts as well. Um, beautiful headliner in gor gorgeous condition. Uh, you can see here I have the executive writing table out. And I'm six foot two, 200 pounds. I've got plenty of room here, plenty of leg room, plenty of head room. Um, kind of like sitting in my easy chair at the house. November 174 Delta Mike has a very nice updated instrument panel. Great for IFR flight. Let's take a closer look. We'll start at the left here. You can notice uh, this is a true airspeed indicator. The primary flight display has been replaced. This is an Aspen Pro 1000 PFD. Now these are very nice. You can set a target airspeed. You have your vertical tapes here that will uh, roll out as you get moving. Um, this is your ADI and you can see here that this one has the flight director. In the top right is your altitude pre-select and your vertical tape reads out here as well. Um, in the middle, if we were flying, you would get a true airspeed reading as well as a glide, uh, excuse me, ground speed reading as well as an outside air temperature there in the middle. Our Barrow uh, today is 30.13. Greensboro is uh, around 900 feet uh, above sea level, so you can see that. And then uh, here is your, uh, your DG overlaid with your HSI. Um, this unit has GPSS steering. I could select that if we were flying in, in heading mode. Um, we can change our barrow. It can read um, the VLOC or the GPS um, as well. Very, very nice unit. 
Um, we'll continue on in the top here. That is our altitude pre-select and vertical speed select uh, by King. Now that is tied into the KFC 150 autopilot that we'll look at here in just a moment. Our standby altimeter, our vertical speed indicator. And I'll pull the yoke out here uh, to show you that uh, we have a standby electric attitude indicator has its own battery uh, backup system. The King 55A HSI, and this would have been the original instruments in the airplane. Moving over to the bottom right, we have our BFG WX950 storm scope. The gauges in the post 84A36s are, are very nice. These are more of what you would see in a King Air turboprop. Um, when you're at altitude, when you're flying, what I really like about these is most of the needles are going to be basically horizontal. So it's really just a quick check of making sure all the needles are horizontal. There's really no interpolation there. Um, as long as everything uh, looks somewhat horizontal, then I know uh, the engine is, uh, is in good shape. So um, we'll move on to the middle. This is our avionics stack. Most of this has been replaced over time. Um, at the top is our audio panel. This is a PS Engineering PMA 8000B. Uh, the B stands for Bluetooth, so you have Bluetooth capability with this, and it is a six-place intercom system. Uh, in the middle is, is Avidyne's uh, latest and greatest. Now, this is a IFD 540, um, much like you would see in a 750 nowadays. This is uh, a GPS, nav, and comm system. It is WAS certified, and it really is more like an F, uh, FMS. You can see here we have our, our knobs to, to change uh, the desired settings, but also this is a touch screen. I, I can move this as well. Really a neat system here. Um, I won't go into how to program everything, but very, uh, very easy to uh, maneuver your way around uh, to get in a flight plan, procedures, uh, departures, waypoints, and those type of things. But very nice unit. That unit was just installed this year in February and has a three-year warranty, so that is warranted until February of 2018. Our secondary NAVCOM is uh, the King KX-165s. Our transponder is uh, is the new Avidyne. Now this has ADS-B out, so it is uh, already set up for um, the ADS-B out for 2020. Below is our KFC 150 autopilot. Uh, very good um, three-axis autopilot since we have the, um, the altitude pre-select, but uh, works very well, ties into the uh, Avidyne 540 to fly uh, GPS. It will hold altitude, uh, heading and we'll do uh, approaches as well. And then as we move over to the right, this is our uh, EDM 730. Um, this has a digital readout of all the cylinders as well as the turbo. Uh, you can see cylinder head temperatures, uh, exhaust gas temperatures, and your um, temperature of your turbo. It has the fuel flow function where you can input your gallons when you turn your avionics on. You can see there we have 44.8 gallons of used fuel since it was last reset. Um, everything reads out in a digital uh, format for your oil temperature, oil pressure, um, gallons per hour, and those type of things. Very nice, uh, very nice unit. And on the bottom here, um, although we don't have our pointer for our ADF, we do still have uh, the control head here. Most of the guys will leave these to keep from having to put a panel uh, cover um, and they'll use it for a timer as well. So um, top right, we have our King KN63 DME. Now this has NAV1 uh, hold and NAV2 switching. Um, that does work very good in this airplane. We're in a hangar, so uh, it's not picking up the Greensboro VO, uh, VOR. But on the right-hand side, you can see here is your, uh, your ELT and your music input. If you've got um, your favorite music on your iPad or iPod, you can plug in um, right there. And um, below that is an analog clock. 
The Post 84 A36s have dual control yokes. Um, on the pilot side here you can see we have our, our mic button in the back. The red button is uh, the autopilot disconnect for the KFC 150. We have a control wheel steering button that uh, controls the flight director of the KFC 150. And we have electric trim here that's uh, very easily accessed by our thumb. In the middle we have a digital uh, Beechcraft chronometer that has a built-in timer. And on the right hand side we have a transponder ident button and our map light as well. And you'll see we have our mount for our Garmin 796 that has XM uh, weather on it. Um, I don't have it in place uh, just for the sake of being able to see the other avionics behind. But I wanted to, uh, to mount this and show you that um, it does have the capability um, to have the weather right in front of you. All of the windows on 174 Delta Mike are in beautiful condition. These were all replaced uh, last year, December 2014. You can see I've got the pilot's vent window open here. It's about 90 degrees in Greensboro today. So nice to get some airflow. Um, moving to the front, you can see we have the really nice Rosen sun visors. The glare shield on 174 Delta Mike is in beautiful condition. This has been redone and, and uh, stitched in leather. Uh, again, very nice condition. If you're in the market for a mid-90s A36 that has been turbo-normalized, visit us in Greensboro, North Carolina to take a closer look at November 174 Delta Mike. This 96 model is without a doubt one of the nicest ones on the market today. It has 3,055 hours total time since new, 1,235 hours on a factory reman IO550 engine, the Whirlwind 3 conversion with Rammer 2. It has factory air, a beautiful Avidyne IFD 540, XM weather, no damage history. It's been very well maintained and beautiful paint interior. You can see us on the web at www.carolinaaircraft.com or give us a call in the office at 336-665-0300. I'm Brian Tuttle and thanks for watching.